five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> back to the channel the adventure starts now I'm in the truck and I've got the almighty stinker with me road trip time first destination Goulburn or the outskirts anyway let's see when we get there let's do this Tad hot. That's not good. So what do you reckon about that, mate? Bit of a bummer. <laughs> so, oh, it's going to be windy. So my buddy lives about 15 k's from where I am now. That's where I was heading. So he's coming out with some water and a car trailer as backup. So hopefully she's not too bad. I just had a look in the radiator and it's a block just full of scale from the old motor. It's a new radiator. Well, a year old. Just getting that camera out of the wind. Yeah, so heaps of scale in the radiator, so I think the radiator's blocked. Fingers crossed, we can get it back to my mate's place, take the radiator out, give it a flush, and we're on the and we're on the road again. Or I've cooked it. And if I've cooked it, it's done. See what happens. That's inside. That's why she stopped. Righto, we're good to go, I think. She took water and it started up nice. We'll go back to my mate's place and do some testing on it, but that radiator definitely needs to come out. We'll sort that out um, this afternoon. Got back to my mates. Radiators out. We're gonna give it a flush. Hopefully the head gasket isn't blown. Wow. Nice. <laughs> this is fossil king for real gems here. Wow! Look at that. Is that mine. Rust. Well, I think we saved her. Everything's good, and if you're wondering about the thermostat situation, you know what they say about that. Well, I don't actually, but if you know, just write it in the comments. So my mate's a dentist, and I can't show his face on uh, television, but he's got a good collection of cars. And he's cool with me, showing you what he's got. Don't even ask him what these are. He told me once, I can't remember. This one's pretty cool, old Falcon Ute. That came out of the same place my Brown Valiant came from. Is that a Porsche? I think it's a Porsche. I don't know. Not into them, but yeah.
this is my buddy's 39 Ford, which he's had for maybe 13 years or something. He used to have the sidey in it, and then he had that Buick in it. And he's just converted it to a small block Chev. And you want to know why, it's, why so many people with small block Chevs in Fords? Really no modifications. It's got the early style front mount on it. And even with the right hand drive, in the starter motor, with the smaller starter motor, it still fits. Nothing's really been modified. It's just amazing how they work. G'day, well it's the next day. I've just left my mate's place, which is about I don't know, six or seven k's from where I'm parked now before I get on the highway, just check it all out. And it seems I've fixed it. Head gasket seems to be okay. It's not hot. There's no extra pressure in the engine, which I'm pretty happy about. If it was an alloy head motor, yeah, it should be on a tilt tray, I reckon. But no, we're good. So the truck's going all right. We'll um, soon work it out on the freeway. I'll just take it easy. I'll stop at Yas, get some fuel, check it out then, get something to eat. And uh, we're on our way to tomorrow now. Um, this morning, we got up, went to a deceased estate um, clearance sale guy that used to sell um, hot rod parts and stuff so I managed to score myself a few little bits and pieces there and um, my mate that who I was just with hooked me up with this scored myself a vintage motorcycle frame so I've been wanting something like this for a long time to build an old bike so yeah that's pretty cool steering column and steering wheel for the Valiant um, so yeah hopefully by the end of this trip we'll be full of old stuff that's the plan so enough of the chit chat let's hit the road We just stopped for fuel at Yas, about 100 k's from where I was. No issues, the thing's running good. So, we're gonna get some food and keep on trucking. Just hit Tamora, trucks cruising along nicely. I've had no issues at all with the engine, so I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty lucky, actually. So my buddy's probably another half an hour from here. I'm gonna stop, hydrate, dehydrate, take the dog out, give it a run around and let it um, dehydrate as well. And then we'll do the last leg. So I arrived at my mate's place yesterday. Um, it was about 350k trip from where I was at Goulburn and um, truck went really good. I'm gonna be here for a couple of days. Um, I don't know what sort of car stuff I'll be able to show you. You show up in a country town with something like this, I've already been shown stuff in people's sheds. Um, but you know, for obvious reasons, people don't want that sort of stuff filmed and I'm not gonna, even gonna ask. I don't wanna make it inconvenient, but if there's something I can show you, I will. Um, but yeah, just here to have a good time with some mates, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you soon. Um, in June, I stopped for a hot chocolate at the chocolate factory, and um, saw this thing out the front, and next door there's a car museum apparently, so we would go and check that out. But this is pretty cool. 39 Chev, I think. Very nice. The museum. Apparently this guy was the old Ford dealer in town, so I'm told. That's a chef. Zephyr, I think. Yep. Another Chevy, old Chevy truck. How cool is that?
G'day, well it's day four. I've just spent a couple of um, really awesome days with my mate down here at Coolamon, south of Tamora. So today we hit the road and we head off to Parks. We'll um, have a look at the dish, we'll get to Yeovil and at the end of the day we'll be up near Wellington at my other mate's place and the dog will meet some new dogs to hang out with. Hey bud, let's hit it. Just arrived in Forbes just to get some uh, breakfast and give the legs a stretch. Probably, I don't know, 200 k's or something. Truck's going good. Tell you what, man, some of those roads are rough. The truck's wrestling the road and I'm wrestling with the truck. But we're getting there. A bit windy. It's cool, actually. It's supposed to be really hot today, but it's still pretty early. So about another 30 k's to parks and we'll get back out take some photos um uh, we're looking forward to getting there and have a look at that big dish what do you reckon mate We made it to the dish anyway. Yeah, it's good. It's a park. It's famous. It's been in a pretty cool movie. It was part of the first and probably a few other moon landings. Um, movie's called The Dish if you want to watch it. And Parks is also famous for the Elvis Festival. So right now it's pointing at Uranus. Well, I've seen all I want to see here. So it's time to head on to Yeovil and see if we can find this old sawmill. See how we go. There you go, mate. You good? Righto, so just put in the oval, got some fuel, spoke to the locals in there, and they know the sawmill. I was surprised to see this truck with the oval written on the side. Um, sawmill's long gone, but they told me where it was, so I'm thirsty. I'm gonna go next door over there and grab myself something to drink. Righto, so I just had a drink in the pub. Everyone knows the old sawmill, it's gone, but they told me exactly where it is. Um, they're like, oh, old Tom, I used to work there. He'd be around here somewhere. And the son apparently is still in town. Um, they don't live on the property anymore. I think relatives of the original owners live there, but everyone used to know it. Um, so, yeah, we found out where it is. I'm going to go there now. But it's certainly stirred up a bit of a stir in town seeing the Oval truck. Here's an old original Ampole sign in the middle of the Oval. Might as well get a photo while we're here. Got to get a photo near the town sign too, hey? So according to the locals, this is where the sawmill used to be. Which is nice and level. It's obviously something here once upon a time. Over in the back there, there's some machinery. And that old house is apparently relative to the people that used to have the sawmill. I might go and knock on their door, I'll see. But yeah, that's it. It's just giving me permission to come and have a look. This is the old actual mill here. It's still here. Better watch out for snakes. by the family and they've chose to preserve this area which is really really cool this. the old blade I'd say those four posts held something up she said she wasn't quite sure so yeah how cool Remnants. I thought this might have been the remnants when I was looking over the other side there. The old um, tracks come right up to here. Finish there. There's the old post there or something. Maybe sheds or something like that, I'd say. If we didn't work. 
work it out already. I love history. Absolutely love it. Yeah, maybe they leave these people alone, get back on the road. But yeah, here we are. Not a lot to see, but there's the old truck at home. Well, all I can say is that was awesome. Meeting one of the family members, that's the old house that the old boy used to, um, I can't remember what they said his name was. He built, worked at the, uh, the mill, locals used to work there. And the fact that part of that mill is still there is unreal. And she was pretty chuffed to see it and they've taken photos. And they're gonna pass it on to the family members. And the guys in town have my number, so the son of the fella that used to run the mill will have my details. Hopefully we'll get in touch. Anyhow, I am gonna hit the road again, catch up with my mate out near Wellington and relax for the rest of the day. It's been a long day, even though it's midday. It's, it's hard work in this old truck. I've done about 300 Ks. Anyway, let's go. So, I got the local tip on the shortcut to where I'm going. We're heading that way. this for life mate's place that view would never get old so cool Next day, I think it's day five now, I'm not sure, but um, lovely time with my friends and um, about to hit the road on my way to Gilgandra. My dad used to live in Dubbo, so I'm gonna go to the old house that we used to live at, have a look at that, and then um, straight to my mate's farm at Gil to hang out for a few more days. Check out some, some of the old stuff there and my old truck there, my um, jail bars there too. So anyway, let's hit the road. gonna get out but there's the old man's old house had some good times there a few changes I can see but uh, yeah be cool if you still had it but long gone had some good times anyway let's get on to Gilgandra so we made it to Gil just stopped for a refreshment before I hit my mate's place. He's about another 20 minutes out of town on a farm. So yeah, cheers. It's been a good day so far. Nice and easy. How are you, buddy? You're nearly there, mate. I'm gonna relax for a few days. Cheers. Made it to the farm yesterday and spent the afternoon yarning, looking at old cars and uh, just chilling out. Beautiful morning this morning, sun's just come up and um, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Truck's good, nothing to do with the truck. Truck's going awesome. Yeah, just trying to find somewhere out of the wind. Um, so last time I was up here, I did a deal on this um, these old Dodge parts. Here comes the wind again. 34 Dodge sedan, the cow was perfect, rust free, and I went, you know what, this will make a good woody. And um, anyhow, since I've been up here, so one of the reasons I came here was to pick that up. Um, the scrappers got it without permission. So it's gone. So I'm really disappointed, like really, really disappointed on that one. But life goes on, what do you do? Sometimes you just miss out. This is the same farm my F1 came from and my 
jail bar, which we'll have a look at later, is still over there. But I'm not going back with an empty truck, no chance. So I've been looking for an old two-stroke trail bike for a while, just a you know twin shocker thing. Anyway, I said to my mate, you got any old you know 175, 200 egg bikes or anything like that? So anyway, look what I come up with. Done a deal on this um, 175 Yamaha egg bike. Same as a DT pretty much. So we'll try and get that going today and I might make a separate video on that one. But my buddy that owns this farm, he's a collector of all things old tin, like he's into what I'm into. So he's been a family friend forever. And uh, so he's organized a few places to go today to, to have a look at some old um, tin. There's one place where there's a whole heap of Grahams. We'll have a look at that. There's another old tip. So on these old farms, they used to just dump their rubbish in their own property and the tips what's left is just metal and all the good stuff so old bottles and stuff anyway we're gonna have a look at some old tips and there's another place that he mentioned that they might have old motorcycle stuff so I am quite keen to go and see if we can get there I'm on to him about let's go to that place I want to have a look and I'm talking old school like coolness just dumped around the place so anyway we'll see what happens there I can't promise anything on that regard I'm not going to show you everything he's got because it's none of your business <laughs> But this is one of his old jail bars it goes it's a good thing here's another f truck he got this after he sold the one he had to me and um same if it's an f6 mine was the same size as this didn't have the back on it i well, should go and park mine next to this later and look at the difference and there's my old truck still here so I mentioned old tips. This is one he dragged out of an old tip. I saw it on the old tip last time I was up here. Old mainline ute. It's actually really good. It's got a few bullet holes, but it's really solid. Righto, so um, we went to that old tip and the same mob that cleaned out my Dodge cleaned out that old tip apparently. So there was really nothing there of any value or any interest. Um, but we're on our way to a old farm now. Um, a friend of my dad's and a friend of the bloke I'm staying with and um, he's been hoarding stuff for a long time so kind of hoping I can come home with something from there. We'll see how we go. Should be interesting. I'll film what I can. Well yesterday we went and looked at that old farm and that collection. I've never seen anything like it in my life but I'm telling you right now it's nothing but disappointment. Old boy I was going to do everything up. He's 91. Anyhow, I'm over that. So I haven't shown you this one yet because I've been uh, considering on doing a deal. This one's on my mate's property, drag out from somewhere. VC Valiant Utility. Look at this thing. Last registered, 1986. So anyway, I may or may not have just done a deal on this. But you'll have to wait for the upcoming episode on it. Well, it's my last day. I've had a good time. Um, it's early in the morning. I'm going to start sorting out my stuff. Haven't had my coffee yet. It's over there cooling down a bit. But I'm going to grab this old bike, wheel it back to the car, we'll get her on, tie her on. And um, after brekkie, I'll start heading back via Mudgee and catch up with one more mate. And then head home. We going home today, mate? Me? Hey, we going home today? Yeah, a good girl. So yeah, I've had a really good time. I'm wound right down. Coffee would be good though.
Righto. Well, it's time to hit the road. What do you reckon, mate? Let's head off to Galgong. Catch up with another mate. Galgong. Time to go visit the mayor, I think. Hey, buddy. Nice. <laughs> the dirtiest stinking water in town, and she's laying in it. I love it. Yes. Well, I'm at the mayor's house. I'm not showing you anything but his Model A because we all know about this one. How cool. Sidey. Tub. He's a member of the Tub family. I love it. Rusty Boars. Well, that's it. That was my last official stop. Eight days on the road. It's time to head home. Let's do it. Well, I'm home and I'm home safe. What an awesome trip. Eight days. Whew, I'm knackered. I'm gonna have a cold drink, relax for a bit before I unload, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I've got two more videos coming as a result of this trip. I've got one with the motorbike, and I've also got one with the Valiant Ute, so stick around for those, and um, that's it from me. Stay tuned, be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.